Baik. Uh, baik. Assalamualaikum uh, dan selamat sejahtera. Uh, uh, saya sebagai wakil kumpulan kumpulan kami akan bertanggung mengenai EBITS 3.313 uh, Data Communication and Network for Final Project Presentation. Uh, next slide. For the next slide, uh, we, our team, myself, Daniel bin Azarin, DO321, 1029.3, Daniel Irfan bin Zainuddin, DO321, 1019.3, Akhiran Naj, Star of Tagaraja, DO321, 1018.8, David Ren, Star of Vijaya Sekaran, DO321, 1018.8, Muhammad Zahi bin Muhammad Zahi bin O321 or one I'll start off with presenting the first part of the OSI layer. Uh, the OSI layer has seven layers. Um, how the data is transferred between the sender and receiver. We start off from the application layer, from the sender, going to the physical layer, and from the receiver you will get from the physical we go all from the physically to the application layer and that's how we go uh, so i'll present about the application layer next so for our project uh the application layer according to the project scenario that was given that a student's computer is uh trying to reach the online learning system server is in the IT center by using the link using a supported browser. Then it will bring students to the login page. The students need to key in the username and password before giving access to the website. This will generate raw data for the presentation layer to translate. Uh, next, we go on to the presentation layer. The presentation layer in this scenario. And the side, which is the student's computer, we receive the data from the application layer and perform encryption and compression to the data. It converts that data in such a format that can be sent over the network. And the receiver side, which is the online learning system, receives the data from the transport layer and performs data translation, encryption, and uncompressed data. So for the next uh, layer, uh, I'd like to call David. I would like to call Pablo Parati Okay, yeah, next is selection layer. I so want to access the online learning system. The online learning system server so we are trying to auto ticket who is user and establish a season a season between them from the uh, program uh, college network to find their students wants to get access to be authorized and manage in the uh, layer. This request file is in separate section after students complete since uh, okay the next part is transport layer the case tcp is the protocol that being used when data is visible when the computer wants to send data over TCP, it's need to est establish a connection with the online learning system server. As the, as the connection has been established, the data is sent to the transport layer. The data is trans uh, separate into a small unit which is segment to segmentation. The segment will have their own source and destination port number will be sent to the network layer. The next is the equate layer. Based on the situation, the student is using the modem to connect the public network before being able to connect to the home college uh, facility. Uh, layer or, uh, allows connection for the student's computer to the server where both have different connections. Router involved in the layer is the home router and college IT. Um, 
for the Atelier Leye. Um, for that, I'm Dini Ifan from group 11. Um, the Atelier Leye is once this layer receives packets from network layer, it will perform encapsulation by adding source and destination MAC address into the packet header to form a frame. The MAC address is located in the network interface card and an IC of the student's computer. Next, we will be going to physical layer, which is the last part. In this layer, physical characteristics of interface and media, representation of bits, data rate, and synchronization of bits will be executed. The bit signals are transmitted as radio waves to the receiver, which is the online learning system for Kavum College server with wireless medium. Uh, going to submitting calculation for uh let's go to uh Lahi. Let I'm uh, using class C, which is the uh, IC address is 191620. The translation is N 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 Okay, for subnet number, we are using IP sensor, we use property 1, property 2, property 3, property 4, and property 5. And this is the level IP. For property... My name is Dr. Vinton Raji Segeran. Now I'll be explaining about the TCP IP configuration. So the first step of TCP IP configuration is you can, in Windows uh, especially, you can you, uh, use the run uh, program, which is uh, when you press Windows key and R, you can open the run. Then you can type control to open the control panel. The next you can, uh, next you can go to the network and internet settings, uh, internet, uh, Window, then network and sharing center. Uh, in the network and sharing center, you can see the connections uh, section, which will um, show your Wi-Fi or Ethernet or your network connection. You must uh, left-click it to open the window. Next. So when you open the window, uh, it will show you the Wi-Fi status. Then you must click properties. Uh, then it will show your network adapter. Uh, at the list, you can you must select the internal protocol version for IPv4 TCP TCP slash IPv4 section and click properties. Next. The IPv4 properties, you can change your IP address, subnet mask, default gateway by use, uh, using the uh, using the use the following IP address uh, radio signal. Uh, then you can sell, uh, use your own DNS server using the use the following DNS server addresses, uh, radio signal, uh, preferred DNS server, then alternate DNS server. Uh, last but not least, for the learning outcome, the first one is uh, we gain the OSI, the OSI layer facilitates the OSI layer facilitates communication between computers. The second one is understand the IPv4 private addresses. The third one is learn to calculate the subnet mask using FLSM for addresses properly. And the last one is know the right way to configure your IP address and DNS server in your computer. So for us, thank you for watching.